Hello and welcome to the Inside Trainer. I'm Cynthia Carpenter and in this video I'm going to give you a complete out-of-the-box review of the desk cycle. Now that I've unpacked the box you can see everything that's inside. One of the most common questions I get asked before um, somebody makes their final decision on making the purchase of the desk cycle is, is it difficult to put together? How much assembly is involved? And the answer to that is very little and it's quite simple to put together. And to prove that or to also help you out when you get yours, you can follow along with this video to assemble your desk cycle. In every box of the desk cycle there are nine pieces. There's your main piece, your manual, two legs, display, left and right pedal, a little wrench, and a strap. Inside your manual it will tell you how to put this together, how to use it, and how to get the most out of it. The front of the desk cycle is what's furthest away from you when you're seated and the back of the desk cycle is closest to you and this is where your resistance knob or your resistance settings are. The pedals are made specifically, one is made specifically for the right, one is made specifically for the left. And the reason for this is because they're threaded differently. The left one has what's called a left hand thread which means when you put that in you want to screw it to the left rather than to the right like a normal screw. Be very careful of that. I'll go over it when we assemble it but I want you to be aware of it so that you're very careful of it when you're putting together your machine. The battery is included with the display and it's very simple to install. There's just a little release catch on the battery door. Open it up, slide in your battery, and it's all ready to go. The display will turn off automatically after a few seconds. The first step is to attach the larger front leg. You'll notice on both the front and the back leg that the nuts and the washers are already on the posts. Just remove these and set them aside. slide the bolts into the holes. Now just before you do that you'll see that there's this wire and this is the lead that goes to your uh, display. Make sure that that's out of the way so that you don't pinch it. Set your bolts in the holes. The washer goes on first. If you'll notice the washers are curved to fit the form of the post. Just put your nut on just a couple of threads, just a couple of turns at this time. You don't want to go tight, not just yet. Step number two is to install your back leg. Same thing. It shows up with the washers and nuts already on the bolts. place in the holes, washer first, see that they're also curved, not quite tight, leave it loose. Now at this point take your bike, put it on the floor, uh, probably like the kitchen floor or a, a flat floor, not a carpet, so that you'll know that it's good and level and then tighten these nuts up. You don't want them, uh, you don't want to over tighten them, you want them good and snug but don't over tighten them. Tighten the nuts using the wrench that came with your desk cycle. The smaller side is to tighten the nuts on the feet and the larger one is to tighten the nuts for your pedals. Step number four, installing your pedals. Each pedal is made for a particular side of your bike. You'll notice on the ends they're marked whether they're left or right. They're also color coded and the bike arms or the pedal arms are also color coded and marked left and right. 
both the left and right pedals also have little arrows pointing in the direction of which to screw in the pedals onto the pedal arms. The left pedal is unique in the way that it actually screws in by screwing it counterclockwise. If you accidentally try to screw the left pedal in on the right side, there's a good chance that you end up crossing the threads and stripping the threads. You can also see on the bolt ends that they are also marked left and right. So when installing the right pedal, this installs like a normal bolt. You put it in, screw it clockwise. When installing the left pedal, again it's got marked L for left, the pedal arm itself is marked L for left. As well, you'll see that they're color-coded. There's blue and blue. When you screw this one in, this one screws in by screwing it left. Grabbing the wrench that came in your box, you use the larger end and screw these in good and snug. And now the final step. This is your display. In the back is a little hole, and this is where you connect your lead. Just put that in there. There's a little slide on the back that simply slides in. And push it down easily, and there you go. One of the first things you'll notice about your desk cycle is how quiet it is to operate. And this is because of the patent and magnetic resistance system. you can be confident that you're not going to bother your neighbor with any noise. Another feature that makes the desk cycle so popular to use at work under the desk is that it has such a low profile. At its highest point it measures 10 inches and the vast majority of people can use this under their desk and never have to worry about their knees hitting the underside. Set your resistance on the desk cycle by adjusting your knob at the back of the bike. One, which is the lightest setting, all the way up to eight, which is the heaviest setting. Your display turns on automatically as soon as you start pedaling. In the display window, it'll show speed, time, calories burned, and the distance of which you've traveled. You can also set it so that it will scan through all the numbers for you. When operating your desk cycle, you don't have to worry about it rocking back and forth when you're using it. This is because it's got a low profile, a wide front leg, and a wide back leg. The front leg is 20 inch, and the back leg 15 inch. Because of the patented magnetic resistance system, the desk cycle is very smooth and quiet to operate at all resistance levels. To get the most out of your desk cycle and to benefit the wide range of your leg muscles, you can pedal both forward and backwards on the desk cycle. Included with your desk cycle is a Velcro tether that you can use to strap your desk cycle to your chair. Very simply unroll it, loop it under the back of your desk cycle and around the back of your chair and set it at whatever length you want that's comfortable for you to pedal. Put it in place with the Velcro, and now your chair won't be able to roll away from your bike. When you have your desk cycle set up under your desk, it can be difficult to see the display because it's in the front. There's an accessory available so you can take the display and set it on your desk. That way while you're pedaling you can watch how long that you're pedaling, the distance, um, the speed, and how many calories that you're burning. You do this simply by removing the lead from the back of your display. Remove the display from the front of your bike. With your auxiliary mount, there's also a longer cable. And this cable attaches underneath. There's a little spot under here. Set your display on the mount.
and then plug your lead into the back of your display. So now you can set this anywhere on your desk so you can see. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or give us a call at 855-507-6464 or send us an email at customerlove at theinsidetrainer.com. Hello and welcome to The Inside Trainer. I'm Cynthia Carpenter. And in this video, I'm going to give you a complete out-of-the-box review of the desk cycle. Now that I've unpacked the box, you can see everything that's inside. One of the most common questions I get asked before um, somebody makes their final decision on making the purchase of the desk cycle is, is it difficult to put together? How much assembly is involved? And the answer to that is very little and it's quite simple to put together. And to prove that or to also help you out when you get yours, you can follow along with this video to assemble your desk cycle. In every box of the desk cycle there are nine pieces. There's your main piece, your manual, Two legs, display, left and right pedal, a little wrench, and a strap. 